Hey guys. So I just got home from work about 20 minutes ago. I don't really feel like a human, but I've put on a fresh coat of makeup, freshened myself up. I haven't put lipstick on yet, so I kind of look like a zombie. Can we look past that? And I'm just settling down for Meal of Kings, which is potato wedges with mayonnaise. Don't judge my food choices. I know that they're terrible. I'm fully aware of that. I'm just about to eat this and then I'm gonna go head over to my friend's house. That's where Abida is right now. I was apparently the only one who had to go into work today so they've all been hanging out and like doing fun things and I had to go to work. So I'm gonna meet everyone over there and then we are going to have take two of Christmas tree shopping because if you watched the other Christmas tree vlog that I put up, you will know that was an epic fail and we did not buy a Christmas tree. Today is the day. Today we will buy a Christmas tree and I've accepted that it's probably going to be ugly. It is what it is, that's fine. So we're just gonna get a cheap tacky Christmas tree from Lulu's probably. Um, and then there was talk of going to get some mozzarella sticks. So my day will have been just carbs, carbs, and more carbs. But I'm gonna eat these potato wedges real quick because I am so hungry. And then we can head out on this Christmas expedition. I feel like a completely new woman after those potato wedges. And now I have the advent out of my advent calendar and I'm so excited. My mom sent me out this lint advent calendar and it is so good because the chocolates are so good in here. First day I had one of these reindeer. It was huge. Like who gets chocolate that big in an advent calendar? So that was definitely a good choice, mom. Thanks. Speaking of mom, I went Christmas shopping yesterday. Finally started my Christmas shopping. And I managed to get two gifts all day. Um, I did take my vlogging camera with me and then just proceeded to not vlog anything. It was a complete fail. But I can show you what I picked up. So I went to the souk and I got a gift for my niece, which you're not really gonna be able to see it because it's bubble wrapped. and. I don't really want to unwrap it because A, that seems like a lot of effort, there's a lot of sellotape on here, and B, it really needs to be wrapped up for when I take it home or it's going to break. Because it's this really pretty wooden box. I mean, it's just a jewelry box, but it's really nice. Like, it's all hand painted and it's got gold flowery things on the top. It's just really ornate and beautiful. And I just thought, well, that's unusual. You know, it's not something that she would probably get at home. And then I also got Christmas tree decorations because if you've been subscribed to this channel for a while, you might know, I have this weird thing about Christmas tree decorations. I just feel the need to get a Christmas tree decoration everywhere I go. It's a bell and it's got the desert on it. There are some camels. It's very stereotypical, but hey. So I got a red one for me, and then I picked up a blue one for my mom. And then I also got my mom's Christmas gift, but not from the souk. Actually ended up getting it from the Navy Exchange over on the Navy base, because they had 25% off everything. So I got myself a bargain. Don't tell her what I got her. This is the biggest surprise. Ta -da! Is a Michael Kors bag. How bougie is my mom gonna be with a Michael Kors bag? I just, I walked in, I saw this one, and I was like, this is the one. Like, if I was gonna get myself a Michael Kors bag, this would be the one that I would get because it's just, it's very simple. It's just, it'll go with everything. It's a good size, it has nice long handles, and I just, I feel like she's gonna like it. I hope she likes it because. You know, it was a bargain, but it still wasn't cheap. Like, honestly, I think I paid $138 for it, which, can we talk about how cheap that is? Because I think that works out, like, a hundred pound. When I was looking at Michael Kors bags online, they were, like, 300, 400 pound. So this was a complete bargain, and I really hope she likes it. And then... As we were, we were leaving and I was like, I had my blinkers on because I was like, girl, you're about to spend $138 on a bag. You just like, I also bought myself a necklace at the souk that I'm getting custom made. So I was like, girl, you can't spend any more money today. The money has been spent, halas, is done. And then 
as we were leaving, I saw that the Ray-Bans were on sale and I was like, I guess we're gonna buy a pair of Ray-Bans today. I never really expected that I would buy myself Ray-Bans, but they, they were a bargain of sorts. I think that they were $112, which again, like I, my exchange rate brain might be completely off. I feel like that's about 90 pound. I don't know, but it seems like a reasonable amount for Ray-Bans, you know? How ridiculous am I right now? I've just been sitting here for like 20 minutes talking about Christmas gifts when everyone over there is waiting for me to go buy a Christmas tree, so. Oops. They have some crazy colors of trees though. That maroon one is tacky, but it is a nice color. Once again, Avita's idea of what will make great Christmas decorations is questionable at best. I'm going with it because we almost ended up, I'm gonna show you the tree we almost just ended up with, <laughs> and therefore, I don't even really care what goes on the tree as long as I don't have to have this tree in my living room. Look how <laughs> much this tree is. It's I too think it's much. Nice. Also, she wanted this blue <laughs> reindeer thing. It's cute. Look at it. Oh, they have a green one. That's the green one. <laughs> I think we've decided on a tree. That one. The most normal looking tree that they have. So not the red and white candy cane stripe one. Not the blue crazy reindeer thing. Not the Just brown with the white. Wait. There's a brown tree. It literally looks like it's dead. I don't understand why that exists. So we're gonna get this normal looking green one because, oh, there's a purple one as we well. We just don't need this. And what even green is this? <laughs> just like gold green. We just, those are colors that we don't need in our life. <laughs> to get this one? Yeah, this is our tree. This green, normal looking one. We need one. to know the name, otherwise we won't know what box to get. Yeah, okay, let's do that. So it's actually the next day right now because we were gonna put up the Christmas tree yesterday and then we went to the bar instead because <laughs> that's just how we prioritize. So we have all our Christmas tree and our Christmas tree decorations and stuff ready to go and I'm excited to show you what we bought because it was a disaster. Stop dancing like you made good decisions. You didn't make any good decisions. I made excellent decisions. They're beautiful. <laughs> They're not. Our tree is gonna look very, very questionable, to say the least. Okay, so these are the questionable Christmas decorations that we got. Okay, this is a box of gold. It's like balls and acorns and little boxes. I don't hate this, this I like. The acorns are strange <laughs> to me. I, I don't understand that, but the general gold vibe, Yeah, I, I like. I think it's quite those. nice. These, however, <laughs> I, do, I don't understand. You have to explain these because I don't know what's going on. They're pretty. They look like balls of fun. What even are they? Because I don't know, but they're visually attractive to me. <laughs> look at what we are working with here. What even are you? This the was our tree chopper. It's very tinselly. Literally, this was the only Yeah, it was the only offer. option. It was like, you get this or you get yeah. nothing. And they had them in gold, red, green, and silver. And silver was the least hideous of all the options. So it doesn't match with anything. Match with anything. <laughs> nothing matches. We have literally nothing. This is going to look like a disaster. So <laughs> we got these like cardboard <laughs> Christmas gift things that my mom, literally, my mom had these on her tree in the 80s. So, <laughs> our tree's gonna look very 80s. It's this does, it, we could have an 80s tree. That's exactly what we're having. <laughs> that's exactly what's happening. We and got these reindeer. reindeer. We did get reindeer. We got big ones, and there are little ones. There's little ones somewhere. They're quite cute. They aren't offensive to me. These stars are quite nice. Again, gold doesn't match your tree chopper, but with. <laughs> These looked good at the time compared to everything else that was there, but now I'm seeing them again. They're hideous. <laughs> what were we thinking? You, <laughs> you make those. Because when they were up against the backdrop of the disastrous baubles that they had at Lulu's, I was like, well, this is the best of a bad bunch. But now oh, I'm looking at them. They are disgusting. They're offensive to my eyes. Okay. But then we got these that are really cute. And yeah. it says Merry Christmas and has a little snowman. And then we got some Santa ones too. So those are nice. 
Then we got edible things. Yeah, on our train. Amy's choice because she loves chocolate. So if you are in the UK, you know you can't have a Christmas tree that does not have Cadbury parcels on. And then you eat them all way before Christmas. And then we got three, <laughs> <laughs> three giant candy canes. We wanted the baby ones, but they didn't have them. So we just got three big ones. <laughs> I don't know why three. What is this tree gonna be? Please help me. Okay, you And that's all, that's all we have, so. I am about to press play on my first Christmas song of the year. What's it gonna be? It better not be a disappointment. I didn't choose it, it's on shuffle! This is a terrible first Christmas song, but I also don't hate it. Now we're officially Christmas in our house. We are. Oh, we should light our candle. Ooh. So we got not technically a Christmas candle, but we got vanilla cupcake, which kind of smells Christmassy because it smells like baking. And we got it at oh, the one more. <gasps> Rogue Ball. We got it at the Navy Exchange in the sale. <laughs> we still have a pump. <laughs> Which really ruins the atmosphere. We get in the laundry room. So we did a thing. And in the spirit of Christmas, we made a big bowl of cookie dough. But we don't have any vanilla extract. It doesn't taste like anything. So we're just eating empty calories that don't taste good and could kill us. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog right here because. It's bedtime, <laughs> I'm in my bed. Thank you guys so much for joining me on, I guess, part two of my Christmas tree adventure. Don't forget that I am uploading a video every day right up until Christmas Eve, so if you enjoyed this one, there are plenty more coming. But until tomorrow, good night, sweet dreams, and I gotta get some sleep, so goodbye. <laughs>